Hey guys, VT here, and I've got another custom armor set for you all. This one is geared towards Sword and Shield, but it is sort of a general set. Um, you'll see I'm using the Tigrex pieces, so we're looking at Speed Eating plus 2 here, because I just feel that with Sword and Shield, why not take advantage of that even further, that quick item use, and make it even better with the Quick Eating, so you can take potions, life powders, all that a lot faster with Quick Eating plus 2. It's just one of those fun skills that, do you really need? Eh, maybe. I like using it nonetheless. But I really needed a good hardcore sword and shield um, set, and I really like doing aerial sword and shield or adept and aerial. Um, so this is sort of geared towards that, but I wanted something with a little more freedom than what I could find online. So I sort of played around with this set a little bit, and um, I'm pretty sure I got it about as good as it can be really to share as well. So you can see that the goal skills we're looking for are speed eating plus two, which is actually native, uh, then earplugs, bludgeoner, and mounting master. And this is again geared towards that aerial sword and shield. Um, I specifically want earplugs in there. I'm not too concerned with high grade earplugs because actually not a lot of monsters use it. Um, and just for general use like this, earplugs is gonna be just fine. And if you're using adept for this anyway, you don't really need earplugs or high-grade earplugs at all. Um, I did want to include Bludgeoner. This is my first Bludgeoner set uh, for Sword and Shield simply because it is pretty practical. A lot of the Sword and Shields have pretty big green bars, um, but with the different oils you can put on there, um, where you don't need fencing at all, Bludgeoner works really well. And then, of course, Mounting Master for that aerial or even Adept-style Sword and Shield, I just find it works really well, especially combating against something like Rathalos. So... The fun thing about this is, is that there's actually five slots in the armor set, which, surprisingly, is a lot of slots in this game, which is extremely unfortunate. Um, but the nice thing about this is, it is that was a lot for this flexibility with either slotting it or using a different talisman. So let's get into that just a little bit. So if we look at the skill breakdown here, you can see that I actually have a pretty damn decent talisman. It's a bludgeoner plus five two socket with fire attack plus nine and yes for my one fire or sword and shield i do socket that to fire attack plus one <laughs> don't worry but this is really nice talisman for me uh i do have quite a few bludgeon ones it's not very rare but the good thing about this is there are actually so many slots in the armor set that you don't really need a bludgeon or talisman you can actually have any talisman you'd like which is why i designed this set this way what i originally intended to do was to just socket it the armor set to fulfill the earplugs and bludgeoner and um, with a one socket weapon that is necessary and then just have a plus 10 talisman for mounting mounting master or um, bomb boost for different types of sword and shields so how are you guys going to be able to use this well let's take a look at what you get natively so as you can see here we've got five slots and any sockets in your weapon preferably you're going to want a one socket weapon for this armor set to just allow the maximum amount of flexibility but of course that depends all on your talisman as well um, without a talisman though you are going to need a one socket weapon so natively you do get speed eating plus two you also get eight points into hearing and five into blunt and that cantor piece the legs down there is really nice five into blunt with two sockets um, it's one of those strong pieces that you're probably going to use for a lot of different mix sets now this is a little unfortunate because those are both sort of odd numbers for everything so you are going to need two sockets for the hearing and then you are actually going to need four sockets to get that blunt up to plus 10 unless of course you have a talisman now that means in order to fill this set out you are going to need a one socket weapon but it does mean you don't need a talisman at all which means you can be pretty flexible with this so like i said before you can either use a bomb boost talisman a mounting talisman or a speed sharpening talisman if that's your sort of thing really any of those plus tens um, it's just kind of a flexible set um, I really like it because with a good talisman or even a mediocre talisman, really, um, anything into blunt or just with a lot of sockets, um, you can actually make this very flexible for any five socket skill. And I really like doing that for sword and shield because sometimes I want to go aerial, sometimes I want to use a blast weapon, sometimes, you know, it's a really low sharpness weapon I'd want to keep in that green range, so speed sharpening works really well, but... You know, there's other resistances in there as well, because the armor set is mainly composed of Tigrex and a Cantor. You're really weak to Thunder and Dragon, so if you have any Dragon or Thunder resistance talisman, you can throw that on there as well. And it's just sort of a nice, all-around safe set. So let me know in the comments below what talisman you guys are using for this set, how you made it work for you, and stick around because I've got another good set for you guys. So this ridiculously looking set is made for gathering. I designed this set for myself for completing all the leftover village quests, some of those annoying gathering ones. And um, this is what came about. It looks 
I mean, horrendous, obviously, but it works. It's good. So our goal skills are Gathering plus 2, Divine Whim, Heat Cancel, and Pro Transporter. So as you can see, it's sort of an all-around general use gathering set. You can even use it for uh, Charm Farming if you feel so inclined. Now the best thing about this set is it is incredibly easy to make and doesn't require any talisman you probably don't already have. I designed it around a talisman that probably everyone has because I believe you get it just through the normal course of the game. It's a gathering plus 10 talisman. So as you can see the skill breakdown right here, all you really need is a one socket weapon and just all the sockets that are rampant throughout the set and you can get all these skills really easily. So as you can see natively we have six sockets with a one socket weapon and you just get spirits whim however with our plus 10 gathering talisman that brings us up to 16 gathering all you need is one plus two whim gem and then just a bunch of gems to max out the transporter and heat resistance and you're good to go so i hope you guys can utilize this set uh, for all those village quests that are just sort of a pain as well as the online hub ones that require a lot of gathering and transporting if you don't want to play as a cat which i didn't because personally i like varying my speed a little bit and that's very easy to do with the pro transporter and not as easy when playing as a cat just keep in mind that you are going to need a one socket weapon but i really hope this helps you guys out in completing those quests and until next time happy hunting